Good morning. Did you know Christmas is in a few days? I've made some Roblox Christmas sweaters that you can get to stay warm in whatever games you play. They're limited time only, so they'll only be here for a few more days, so get them while you can. Link is in the pinned comment. And now, enjoy the video. Phantom Forces is a game that prides itself on having like 11 billion guns. However, one of the categories that doesn't have as many options is the DMR category with having only about nine guns. Still a good bit for the average player. These are numbers that make it a little bit easier to pick and choose what's better. It's the Beowulf TCR. It, it, it's the best. For a regular viewer, you're probably like, how could this be? Steven's not copping out and saying that he's too indecisive? Yes, my friend, and I'm gonna show you why this is objectively the best DMR in all of Phantom Forces, and why you should probably use it if you're not already. Typically, whenever I talk about guns that I like, I usually show off damage first, but I'm gonna start with the name. There's something that sounds super powerful about Beowulf, and it's spelled with a U. How quirky and unique. But about those damage numbers, though, without any conversions or multipliers, the Beowulf TCR has the highest flat base damage of any DMR at 62, at least up close. At range, it is the same damage as three other DMRs at 40, but whenever you start throwing on multipliers, it has a 1.48 torso multiplier, making it do just about 92 damage. It's technically a three shot at max range, but with any semblance of accuracy, it's basically a two shot at all times. And obviously, with the two times headshot multiplier, it's just god tier. Sadly though, damage does start dropping off at only 60 studs, probably no further than your gaming chair to your fridge, which isn't that far out, but it'll get the job done. Its fire rate is surprisingly middle of the road for the DMRs at only 400, which would sound low in the context of fully auto, but it's a DMR. It's not supposed to be fully auto. Oh wait, I take it back. When you're talking about damage per second though, it's basically unmatched in that regard. It only has a 10 round magazine as well, which isn't a lot, but it basically is all that you need before you have to zoom away and reload, at least in most cases. Speaking of the reload, it's one of the guns where you can start shooting before the reload animation has finished, so do with that what you will. Its unlock isn't bad either at only rank 70. It's a little bit up there, but rank 70 isn't that bad, and it's one of the few guns out there that I'd say that the rank kind of makes sense for what it is. The only real downside that I have about this gun, besides maybe the damage drop-off range, is the muzzle velocity, which is honestly relatively low. It's basically just how fast the bullet zooms out of the barrel. It actually isn't much faster than the Zip 22, so you know, let that sink in. And as we get into the rest of the video, if you're enjoying it so far, make sure to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I work hard on these, I'm trying to make you laugh, and if you did, make sure to like the video as well. It'll help boost the video in the algorithm, and uh, yeah, that's cool, thanks. So what is it actually like to use this in-game? Should you pre-buy it? Should you start using it if you haven't already? Hmm, let's see. And to test that, we're going to run a completely bone stock version of the Beowulf TCR. I haven't used one of these since I got it, so uh, oh yeah, okay, alright, I see. Recoil's a little bit heavy. All right, off to a fantastic start, no doubt. One of the cool things about the Beowulf TCR, though, is because of just kind of how similar it is between using attachments and not having any attachments or between just different attachments themselves, there's nothing that you really have to buy for it, necessarily. The only thing that I would say is kind of not negotiable is a muzzle break because of that insane recoil climb. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that, uh, yeah, that, we're just gonna do that. See, isn't that better? Not fair, I'm reloading, not fair, not fair, not fair. There you go, there he is, he's waiting for me right by my spawn, what a funny man. One thing that does have me a little bit worried though is the iron sights. I do like the iron sights, I think that they look cool, but they definitely take up a lot of screen real estate. Look at that dude, it's almost like using one of the scopes. Mm, maybe I should not spray the gun. Yeah, maybe, maybe not, maybe. <laughs> maybe I should be a little bit more precise. Oh my god, that was so nerve-wracking. Dude, I only have 4 HP. I'm starting to think that I should put some kind of sight on this, though. I'm definitely not doing as much as I'd like to with these iron sights. It's kind of working, though. It's kind of working just a little bit. Here's one that you never see, the DDHB Reflex. It's a good sight. I don't know why nobody uses this. Speaking of using, I'd love to use this 3.0 torso multiplier, but I'm just not landing my shots. <gasps> oh? Oh? Hey, let's go. I can't remember exactly what the number is, but I just, I totally just saw somebody trying 360. I don't remember what the number is, but I think you do like 89 or something headshot damage guaranteed across the map, like bare minimum, which isn't that bad, but you might find yourself a lot of the time going like, hey, I feel like I'm owed a kill out of this. I see your toes. Hey, how long can I sit in here before somebody comes behind me? Someone's definitely above me. Oh my god, dude. God tier plays. Let's go. It's all thanks to this reflex site right here, dude. I'm telling you. Without the reflex, I'm just an average player. That's my couch. What are you doing? Get out from behind there. Oh, dude, I can't. Getting headshots with this thing is so satisfying, man. I do wish that the fire rate was maybe a little bit higher. I can understand why it's as low as it is. And frankly, I mean, like, that's still pretty fast. I definitely feel like I can't time it right, though. <gasps> what? Hello? Double collateral? That was a lot of freaking damage right there, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, here comes that muzzle velocity problem right there. By the time that the second bullet gets there, the dude's already gone home. <laughs> <gasps> oh, just landing those like one, two punches with this, man. It is like, there are very, very few guns that are like that in this game. 
Unless, of course, you hit him twice and only do 80 damage. Sick flip, bro. Where'd you learn to do that? I will say that, like, some of my best performance with this so far has definitely been with it at, like, closer ranges. It's weird to say that about a DMR, but, I mean, it's 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 literally Phantom Forces, bro. What do you expect? <laughs> you don't get this experience from any other gun. <laughs> the recoil, too, I'll say, like... I mean, okay, so I've used this gun before. I have, like, closing on, like, 600 kills or something with it. It's not like I've never used it before. I know that the recoil's bad. But, like, oh, it is... Ooh, yeah. It is not great. <laughs> the drop off too, I noticed is pretty harsh. Here, let me see if I can like show you. Yeah, I was definitely aiming way above that guy. Thank you for being there at the perfect time though. I appreciate that. What am I shooting at? Hello, the bullets are just phasing through this man. Quite the gameplay session, I'm sure. I don't have a favorite gun. I, I, I anytime that anybody asks me, I'm like, no, there's nothing. Oh, did I just see somebody zoom by? Anytime that somebody asks me what my favorite gun is, I just tell them I, there's nothing because I'm too indecisive, okay? But this, this is definitely like top 10 at least, if not top five. I really want to test out my CQC theory though about it being like super good close range. So let's go ahead and play some Bizarre. Not the most close range map as you can see, but hey, I mean, it's as good as we got right now. Until somebody takes my advice on making a small map, mm, yes. What are you doing up there, bro? Good for this level too. I, 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 I'm not even mad. I can't be mad at this poor little guy. What I can be mad at though is the, is the off-color Squidward Type 20. That I'm not happy about. I am noticing one other issue though is since you only have 10 rounds in a magazine, it's fine for range, but up close you run out pretty quick. So what if we, what if we change that? So this is one of the few guns that has like a lot of unique conversions for it. So for one, we have a duplex binary kit. So pretty much what it does is press left click and it shoots. And then if I release left click, it shoots again. So per trigger pull, it shoots twice. So basically I'm firing a, uh, I don't even know what, <laughs> a something. Apparently it's still the Beowulf TCR. So yeah, it just fires like that. Hi. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye-bye. And now because of this, we basically turned the Beowulf TCR into a shotgun. And I've got to say, <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. Keep, keep coming. Why not? The spread leaves a ton to be desired though, dude. Like I can land my shots and everything, but yeah, spread is not great on this. Oh, falling saved my life. And it got me a kill. Two kills. We also get a couple of other conversion kits, though. We get a 5.56 conversion, so it's a standard 30 round 5.56 magazine. We get 600 RPM, which is closer to like an M4, and we get reduced damage based on like your stock damage. So it's just a semi auto M4, basically. But at least now we can shoot a little bit more like two dudes right there. Yeah, two dudes right there. I just spawned. Could have killed both of them. But no, we just had to lose when there's still seven minutes left. Anyway, 556 five, magazine lets you shoot a little bit more like this. It's not crazy fast. I mean, it kind of gets the job done, I guess, but like. And we've also got probably the most normal of them, which is the 458 SOCOM, which is basically the regular ammo, but double the magazine capacity. Still getting two shot up close. Not quite getting three shot at a distance, though, unless you hit that torso multiplier. Reduced damage for double the ammo and longer reload. It's up to you as to whether that's worth it or not for about a thousand kills. And then you got your typical, uh, yeah, that. Well, personally for me, I think for the moment, at least on Bazaar, I'm going to stick with my binary trigger conversion and I'm going to enjoy it. I think stats wise, this is like all around the best DMR. I don't think that there's really much contesting that unless of course it's something, you know, maybe you enjoy something more. Maybe you like the Scar SSR more. Maybe you're like an MK11 guy. You're like one of those like super high levels, but you just think that some of the lower level stuff is cooler. Not a problem, but you can't deny that this is one of the most well-rounded guns in the game. That's kind of the most balanced in terms of level that it's unlocked in terms of stats. And by the way that it's like super lenient in terms of playstyle. Oh my God, there's so many corpses. Feel free to scream at me in the comment section below about your opinion of what your favorite is. And if you have something else that's like weird or quirky, uh, you know, maybe let me know. I'll make a video on it, maybe. By the way, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, subscribe. Do it now or else. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you've got it, you've got it, you got all oh. <laughs> The rotation sensation, there he goes. <laughs> you've got this, Sammy. Alright, time to close the lid. <laughs>